Good morning. One of the things I've noticed during my travels this month is that uh, not everyone still has a copy of Microsoft Word or uh, something similar. Um, so to address this, I've been onto the internet and had a good search, and I found a small program called uh, Abbey Word, which is um, it's it looks to be essentially it looks to be Microsoft Office Word um, on a free package. Um, let's have a look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. If you if you check here on the address bar, you'll see it's abbeysource dot com uh, is the address to go to. We'll uh, again I'll put that up on the board so as people can uh, can see that. But it's abbeysource dot com. It says welcome to Abbey Word. It's a free pro word processing program similar to Microsoft Word. Um, so it's got a lot a lot of uh, different tasks that you can do, uh, but it's all basically the same as Microsoft Word. To download it, simply click on the download and it will give you the choice of whether you want it the source code. You can actually add to it and make it up for you, make up bits for yourself if you're a programmer. It's got Linux base if you uh, you enjoy using Linux or Ubuntu. Um, and of course Microsoft Windows. Um, we'll download the Microsoft Windows version. It doesn't take too long because it is a very small uh, program. We'll get addiction, additional dictionaries. Uh, we can go to uh, the big list of names that are there and download whichever one you fancy, usually British. And we can go back uh, get fonts for equation editing. So if you're a mathematician and you want to do something a little bit more um, with a different font, you can download it. I'm not going to bother on this occasion because um, I can't see the point in it, I don't do. <laughs> I use a calculator when I do my sums. Um, so there we go. Um, okay, so now that's downloaded. If I go to uh, my download folder, and I'll have a look in here, and somewhere there should be uh, Abbey Word itself, Abbey Word Setup. I'll just... Uh, have a look at the earlier version I downloaded to look at this which is there you can see it a bit clearer and all to do we have to do to uh, run Abbey Word is literally double click on the EXE it'll give us the uh, warning um, do you want the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes well yeah I do so I'll do that I'll select English as a language uh, we'll go next um, obviously there's a, a general public um, license which you need to comply to. Um, I like this bit at the bottom signature of Tycoon. It's Tycoon President of Vice. Um, so whether you take that seriously or not it is totally free and it's free source. You can do with it what you will. Um, so here we have to click next. Um, It says here to uh, choose which of the features of Abbey Word 2.8.6 you want to install. Check all the components you want to install and uncheck components you don't want. So very, you've got a very free hand in what you have on there. Primary components, open ABW with Abbey Word. You can associate documents uh, with Abbey Word. Now that is the Microsoft uh, version of uh, .doc. So if you want to use this um, entirely with um, Microsoft Word programs then by clicking that it will add an association. I'm not going to do that uh, because I have Microsoft Word on the computer and don't need to. Um, anyway you can go through this list it's quite a substantial list of different things that you need to look at or you can look at. Don't be scared by it. Um, we, we've got other things here that you've got uh, Star Office Writer, you've got Word Perfect um, lots of different um, di different little bits of units and stuff that um, you uh, can you can bring in there we can have English Great Britain uh, because bear in mind this will be the spell checker you're checking uh, with the dictionary so you might as well bring down the British one um, so there we are quite a long list tick the ones you want and untick the ones that are ticked that you don't want if that makes any sense at all. Anyway, that's um, all that lot done. So we'll click on Next now that we've done that. It will then ask us where to install Abbey Word. Uh, in this case, it's going to Program Files. 
uh, Abbey Word sounds good to me we'll click on there um, select the start menu folder which you'd like to create in the program shortcuts if you can also enter a name if you don't like their name um, you can leave it or change it whichever um, Abbey Word word processor is a good one for me so we'll click next um, it gives you now it's select a mirror this is where to get the dictionaries and everything from as you can see it gives you HTTP forward slash forward slash www dot abbeysource.com which is where we got the program from downloads dictionaries windows archives etc quite happy with that um, there are other places to download it from I would stick to the one we know Abbey Source. Um, when we've done that we can now click install it doesn't take too long it, it, it's a bigger program than uh, some uh, not as big as others obviously however the Windows installer is tootling away it does go on the internet um, so you need an internet connection obviously to down well you need it to download the Abbey Source anyway so here we go it's actually installing now and according to that it's sort of finished the first part this is real time um, nothing complicated about it just sit let it do its own thing uh, whether it takes a minute an hour or whatever it's finished downloading so it's adding the bits and pieces that we've requested and now it says completed so we can click on next and you now got a little icon here that says run Abbey Word well, we'll leave that ticked because we want to see what it looks like and click finish there it is uh, some release notes as you can see it's come straight up um, the top menu bars are so similar to Microsoft it's just unbelievable there is nothing new to see on here um, it looks behaves and everything is the same as Microsoft and in fact if you're using this as your main um, word program that you're writing out or uh, letter writing program any demonstrations we do in Microsoft Word you'll be able to work it on this as well it's uh, simple and it's free um, little bit there about Abbey Word it tells you about its copyright and where it's from and the fact that you can um, you can change things if you wish. Um, the program is distributed in the hope that it will be useful, but without any warranty, without even implied warranty of merchantability or fitness for a particular purpose. So the uh, the general public license, um, which we had a very brief look at earlier on, is available for you to look at. Um, there we are. It's a good little program, good little package, and I hope anyone who hasn't got Microsoft Word will download this and uh, use this um, for your main write letter writing program totally free uh, like Microsoft Word you can change the color of the inks very simply and yeah put a background on it change the color of the font change the color of the text there we go see simple simple to do absolutely dead easy There we go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, very short demonstration and that um, you, you will use this program for your own uses. Thank you very much for listening.